Hi there, I'm here to present to you today a home workout that you can do with minimal equipment and for many of the exercises you'll need no equipment apart from maybe a chair. If you want to add more resistance, I have selected just a jug of water. This one is five liters, so that'll give you a nice amount of weight. As I said, many exercises can be done without weight. If you don't have something like that and you happen to have a kettlebell at home, that will also work, or even dumbbells. But for many of the exercises, body weight will suffice. This exercise can be done by beginners up to people with more experience. And so I'm going to show you options and variations depending on your level. So if you've never done resistance training before, don't be intimidated. I'm going to show you options so that everybody can manage it. So we're going to start off our first exercise is a box squat. It's great for your legs and bum. You get your chair. Make sure that chair can't skid off. You might want to put it up against a wall. I put a little sticky mat underneath mine. So I'm going to stand with my feet wider than hip distance apart, toes pointed out. I'm going to inhale to reach forward and exhale to come up. Now this is the beginner level. So if you've never done anything like this before, this is going to be plenty of work for you. If you are more experienced and you want to add more load, what you can do is you can grab your water jug, hold on to it nice and tight into your chest, inhale to sit back, exhale to come up, squeezing your bum. Now I'm going to take you through 10 repetitions, but you could go all the way up to 20 if you were feeling strong enough. Inhale to lower, exhale to come up, squeezing your bum. Two more to make ten, and one more. Now, as I said, if you're strong enough or more experienced, you can go all the way up to twenty. Second exercise is push-up. I'm going to move my chair out of the way for this. I'm going to show a number of levels. Now, I would definitely recommend to have a little cushion for your knees in this exercise. I'm going to use my little cushion here. Absolute ground zero. Uh, a lot of women complain about lack of upper, other bo upper body strength. I call this the box push-up. You're just going to make a box shape between your knees, underneath your hips, and your hands out nice and wide. You inhale to lower. You exhale to push up. You inhale to lower. You exhale to push up. You inhale to lower. You exhale to push up. Now that's what I call a box push-up. It's an absolute ground zero that everybody could do. Next level up is our classic bent knee push-up or a beginner's push-up. Again, hands out nice and wide, wider than the shoulders. Drop that bum all the way down. Inhale to lower as deep as you can. Exhale to come up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to come up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to come up. Now I'm going to demonstrate a regular push-up. And you're going to select whatever level is suitable. Box push-up, which was the first one. Uh, bent knee push-up, which is the second one. And then the classic push-up, which is what I'm going to demonstrate for 10 repetitions. Classic push-up, I like the fingers nice and wide for this one to get more chest activation. Feet about hip distance apart. Inhale to lower and exhale to come up. Inhale to lower and exhale to come up. We're going to do 10 reps. Four more, three more, last one, and for those of you who, are, who want to push it further, you could take that one all the way up to 20 repetitions. Now our third exercise is a step up. You're going to have two options for this exercise. You're going to have an option to do it with just body weight, which for beginners is going to be more than plenty. And for those who want to make it more challenging, I'm going to use the water jug again. So I'm just going to put my chair on that sticky mat to give me a little bit of traction to the floor so I don't skid off into the sunset. It's a lovely sunny day here in Ireland, so maybe that might be such a bad thing. So without body, without the weight, of course, we can put the hands out for balance 
Make sure that your chair doesn't have a foamy, cushiony surface on it because if it does, your ankles are going to be all over the shop. I have a wooden chair, it's very firm, much more stable on the ankles, so no foamy, cushiony, squishy surface on your chair, please. Arms out for balance if you're a complete beginner. You simply step up and lower down. You step up driving the foot that is on the chair into the chair. I want to do the bulk of the work from the chair leg, the foot that is on the chair. That's the side that's going to do the bulk of the work. Now, if that feels too easy and you want to make it more challenging, you can hold on to your jug of water. I'm going to start off on my right side and I'm going to hold the weight on the same side as my working leg. One could, in theory, hold the weight on the other side. This is going to create slightly different training effect, but for our purposes today, this is fine. We're going to exhale to come up and inhale to lower. I'm going to do 10 repetitions and my focus is to drive the foot that is on the chair into the chair. Driving it in, focusing on getting the legs and bum, getting a good contraction. Six times, five times, chest up, head up, four. My water jug providing some extra resistance. And I think I might have one last time. Now, I'm going to give myself a small little break in between sides, shake that out. And now I'm going to do the other side. Putting my other leg up there. I can put my arm out for balance or I can put it on my hip, whichever feels best. I'll just put it here, maybe the view will be easier. Driving up through the sole of the foot. Chest up, head up. I want the bulk of the work to be done by the foot and leg that are connected to the chair. Exhale up. Four more times. I'm just doing 10 repetitions, which would be good for beginners. More advanced people can go all the way to 20 if desired. One more time. Okay, so that's our third exercise. Now, the next one we're going to do is a row. So if we're going to get any meaning out of this resistance-wise, we need some sort of an implement. Again, we could use our water jug, we could use a kettlebell, we could use something even as simple as a door, door stop. I got a little door stop there. I'm sure you're going to find something at home. Maybe you have a little uh, box of washing powder that has a handle on it. Maybe simply a bottle of water. Get creative. Just to make sure you're safe when you're being creative. Okay, we're going to do a single arm row. I'm going to hold onto the chair for support. I'm going to exhale to row up to the chest. Inhale to lower. I have a lovely neutral spine, so I'm not rounding. A little dip in the lower back, tailbone cocked up slightly. Again, I'm going to go for 10. Elbow reaching nice and high for four, three, two, one more. And now I'm going to change sides. Now I'm going to face this way. Let's see if that's doable for me. So you can still see what's happening. Exhale up, inhale down to stretch. My neutral spine so there's no hunching. Lowering the weight with control. So I'm not schlepping the weight around, it's controlled. Pinching my shoulder blade into my spine. Four more. Three more. Two more times, one more time. Okay, so that's my row. Next, we're going to do a little bit for the abs. Now, definitely recommend a cushion for this because the back of your pelvis would be extremely uncomfortable on a very hard chair. So grab yourself a cushion. I have a nice flat one here, so it should work fairly well. We're going to put it here, and I'm going to sit very close to the edge of the chair because I want space for the back of my pelvis, that bony part uh, at the back of uh, the, the, the pelvis, which is of course a bone, uh, we're going to be rolling back, 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 rolling, 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 one, two with the legs. 
Now I want to inhale to reach the legs out, exhale to tighten the whole body into a tuck. Inhale to reach out, exhale to tighten it in. Inhale to reach out, and you're just going to reach out as far as your tummy is still in charge. If you reach out and the lower back complains, you've gone too far. Only reach out with the legs as far as you can keep the tension on your tummy. Now, I pretty much lost count. I think that's about six. Let's go for four and out. Three and out. Two more times. Suck the tummy in round the spine. One more and landing. So those are our seated ab tucks. I did 10, but you could take them all the way to 20 if that was uh, within your fitness and capabilities. Next one, we're going to do tricep dip dips. The bane of women all over the world are the dreaded bingo wings. So this is an antidote to that. I'm going to show you two different levels of difficulty. So if you've never ever done something like this before, I recommend level one. So we're going to get the fingers forward. We're going to put the hands in right in tight to the legs and curl the fingers around the edge of the chair. We're going to just slide the bum off and keep the feet close, ankles under the knees. Now that's level one. If you have never done a tricep dip, which is, this is what it is, this would be an ideal starting point because for many ladies in particular, this is already going to be plenty of work. Now, if I want to make it harder, I straighten out my legs. We're going to shoot for 10. Inhale and exhale. I want to try and get at least 90 degree bend in my elbows, but I don't want to go so deep that it starts to feel uncomfortable in the top of my shoulders. Inhale down, exhale up. Four more times. To a full straightening. Two more. One more time and shake it releasing that out and for the brave you could take that all the way to 20 reps if that was a possibility for you now the final exercise i'm going to do is for the biceps again you could use your creativity here's my little door stop i could use that because if you've not done weight training before that five liter jug of water is probably going to be way too much you could use a water bottle you could use a tin of beans you could use a small kettlebell or dumbbells if you have them. I'm going to use the big one. And in this variation, I'm going to use a palm down grip. Quite simply because it's way more comfortable than trying to do the curls with the palms up grip. Because the, the handle was just digging into my hands. So I said, okay, I'm going to do a palm down grip, which is a very valid variation. So I'm going to do my curls and I'm going to start on my non-dominant side. I'm going to exhale to curl up. Inhale to lower. My palm is down. Side view. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to lower. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to lower. And there's my palm down grip, which stimulates my biceps. And it's not going to cut into your hands because, of course, these implements are not you know, designed to be ergonomic for weight training. So we have to work around these things. Now, I think that's about five. Let's do five more. Resist it on the way down. Four, up quick, down slow. Three. Two more. One more time. Okay, other side. Let's give that a little shake out first. A little breather between the sides. And now we're going to do our final set. I'm going to face the camera this time. I'm going to breathe in to prepare. My palm is facing downwards. I exhale up. I inhale down. I exhale and inhale. Using the breath to support the movement. That's halfway. We're going to go to 10. Two more times, full range, full focus on the muscles, and one more time. So that one that we just did, you know, it targets the, your upper arms, but it's also going to train the forearms. 
which is good for grip strength. So, you know, grip strength helps all, all forms of weight training. So if you are a beginner, you'll be shooting to do 10 repetitions of each of those exercises. I don't think I left anything out. We had a box squat, we had a push up, we had a step up, we had a row, we had our little seated ab tucks, we had our tricep dips and we finished it out with a little palms down um, bicep curl. So that's seven exercises. The repetition bracket is between 10 and 20. So if you're a complete beginner, 10 repetitions would be a great uh, start off for you and if you're somebody who's a little bit more experienced you can push it all the way up to 20 um, if that is what your body is able for but of course that's form dependent, quality of movement dependent. Now if you want a mini workout you could just do one round and if you want to get a full workout you could do three circuits with a two minute rest interval in between each of these circuits. So that will make a very nice full body workout. We've targeted pretty much the principal muscle groups there and you've got a nice little full body routine. Mini Mon Standard, it's going to help keep your sanity during this COVID um, era that we are living through because when you move your body mentally and emotionally you get an uplift not just physically so I strongly encourage people to keep moving because your sanity um, really depends on it it's, it's natural for the body to move and if people are just sitting down all day long you're going to get depressed and you're going to want to hit the biscuit tin and you'll be feeling worse when this whole business is over now if you would like more help with your workouts at home I have a couple of options for you. I have a personal training online service. I design programs for my clients and I send them video files with each exercise uh, coached individually and tutored, uh, showing the different levels of, of uh, making an exercise easier or harder, you know, detailing the correct technique and the pitfalls of any given exercise. That's one option. Second option is a virtual personal training where I train a person live one-to-one -one via a Skype live video call. So that is your options. I also have an online Pilates course which is seven weeks long and that's available right now on my website. So those are a few options. What I would like to see is to, to see people keep on moving. You've got a lovely little simple workout routine there available today. All you need is a chair, maybe a little water jug, which you can get in any store more or less, or a smaller implement um, in your home. I hope you enjoy that. And remember, you can do a few more rounds now. Just hit the rewind button and you can do a couple more rounds if you're feeling uh, that you wanted to get a full, full uh, routine done. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Claire Rooney. You will find out more about me on my website www.clairooney.com. Have a fabulous rest of your day and I hope to see you again very soon.